Assalamu alaikum fam. Hope you're doing well. It's a glorious day. This day I have finished the Clear Quran by Dr. Mustafa Katab. Um, what's unique about this one is that I read it only during Salah. So it's really special. So the first Quran I read was on the channel live in front of you before I reverted to Islam. Then I read Sahih International Translation during the month of Ramadan 2021, finished it in a month. I wanted the challenge. Now with this Quran, this one I finished only during Salah. So I only read it during my five Salah. And Alhamdulillah, I haven't missed my five Salah in quite a long time So that I can recall. So, And if I did miss one, I would make up for it as soon as I got home. So basically, achieving my, my, all my Salah, right, and finishing this entire Quran. I mean, I, I'm so happy right now, you know, and I will say I like how it, above the ayat, you see the, like, they give you a little hint about what's going on. The Arabic text is pretty tiny on the other side. I wish it would be just a little bit bigger. Like the English letters being small is fine. But it hurts my eyes a little bit with how tiny the Arabic letters are. But I'm trying to figure out what one it is because I'm practicing with Tajweed. But that is still very, it's very concise, right? It's like nice and tiny there for you. I can, I get it's for like a, this is for like really English speakers. So it's like easy for them, right? If you wanted an Arabic Quran, you'd probably pick one with a bigger font. But it has lots of introductions, like this is a Meccan surah, this is a Medinian surah. And then it has great footnotes on the bottom, which is very helpful. So I'm very pleased with that. Also, the presentation of the Quran itself, like just the way in which it has like its cloth string, it's binded pretty well. The paper is thin, but not too thin. It could be a little bit thicker. Um, but I get that they wanted to have something more light and compact. But um, what else can I say about it? It has good glossary in the back. And in the beginning of it, it has lots of uh, Islamic distinctions, like common questions and answers and stuff for you. So that's pretty good. And then in the back it has like, oh, here are the names of the law, where to find them, attributes of the prophet, where to find them, stuff like that. So that's very helpful. So it's very well done. I saw an interview that Epistemix, that guy, did with the guy who, he's Egyptian, I believe. And I remember him saying that during the translation and works of this, the people who worked on the project ended up saying their shahadas. So I thought that was pretty cool. So, alhamdulillah, it is fantastic. And then here I'll show you in the front what I was talking about. Um, so here, I like, see, oops, you probably can't tell. So it has like translator's notes. Um, has the cool transliteration table. It has prophets mentioned in the Quran. has a cool, oh, whoops, you can't see. Uh, what well, is a map? Okay. So it has the names of like the prophets, English, Arabic, and transliteration, Aaron, and then it has Harun, Adam, Adam, David, Dawood. So it's it's very helpful. And it has like a structure point here, silence of features of the Quran, uh, repetitive phrases, repetitive themes, persons, times, place, emphasis. So it's very well organized, um, very approachable, alhamdulillah. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm not disappointed, obviously, with the way in which it's arranged. I have another Quran coming, should be here soon, inshallah. Uh, but I'll leave it as a surprise for which one it is. So that'll be my fourth uh, Quran translation. Again, this has been very beneficial. I um, hope Allah accepts my efforts and my deeds. I was very unique. So thus far, though, uh, which one do I like out of the three? The Sahih International one, I understand someone said, oh, it made mistakes. That one felt more like an echo and a call, very simplistic language that was used. This one had like more like fact nuggets in it, which was helpful. So each one has its own unique 
layout. So, yeah, and I guess this might sound weird, but I do like the color purple. <laughs> so, I'm going to celebrate. I already did the uh, prayer dua that we do after we finish reading the Quran. And as I got on my last surah, I kind of cried, which was nice. So, I'm going to celebrate by having a cup of nice organic raw cow milk, which is good, very rare. Um, it's not always in the store, but there's some good organic milk I got. And some pumpkin pie. And I'm going to put some whipped cream on the pumpkin pie. And that's going to be my little celebration. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm very happy. So may Allah accept my efforts and may the Quran bear witness for me on the Day of Judgment. It's a long journey, but it's really cool how I only read it during Salah. So every time I look at it, I'm going to remember uh, how I stuck to my schedule, made my schedule very strict, uh, and pushed hard to achieve all my prayers on time and to read Quran during it. So, alhamdulillah. Just a call. Hey everybody, have a good day.